Thank you so much for being here. In New Orleans, life is what happens between the hurricanes. This particular story is about life between 1965 with Hurricane Betsy and 2005 with Hurricane Katrina. Man, that's a lot of living and loving and second lines and Mardi Gras parades and laughing and drinking and eating. Go back to 1965, and life in the lower nine was a community of folks from the country who wanted to work in the city, of folks from the city who wanted a little peace. It was like paradise. the canal was heaven for folks from the country lots were jungly big enough for chickens pigs goats and horses big enough for wishing neighbors knew each other so well we talk on the ports without speaking take care of our families make church when we can Cash our paychecks on the weekend, we were fine, fine, fine in the lower nine. In the lower nine. Man, them Creoles in the city, they would dress up in parade in the streets. <laughs> yeah, we were fine, fine, fine in the lower nine. Fine in the lower nine. It's a chance. boats would roll in the whole block smells so sweet banana bread pudding banana cream pie fried bananas after breakfast bananas till you cry sitting around the kitchen table all shoulders and elbows and kicks and okra corn tomatoes and biscuits this high and hey man give me that fool Get your own damn grits. We were fine, fine in the lower nine. Oyster shells crushing under their feet. Oh, we were fine, fine in the lower nine. Just a wasting away a summer day with my best buddy. Now, cousins, they would show up from way out in Thibodeau, looking for a better life in the city. Talking in plantation accents about them alligators, long as Cadillacs, but not nearly as pretty. Everybody shouting and laughing, till mama cuts them up by snapping. We were fine, fine in the lower nine. Hey, good morning, Mr. Butler. Hey, Miss Pie. Now, how about this heat, huh? Woo -hoo -hoo. We were fine, fine in the lower nine. And I blew heaven down on Desalon. Down on Desalon Street. And I blew heaven down on Desalon.
as a line street. And I blew heaven down low as a long street. Oh, now. I said just a little while ago that uh, life is what happens between the hurricanes. Just before a hurricane comes, there's a buzz in the air. It's electric, it's euphoric, it's fear. Well, you can feel that buzz coming. You can feel it coming, and you know Betsy is coming. One more round of choir practice before the football game. John Guidos, you will lead us. Yes, sister. Here, dear Koi Yesu high, the parents and the priests take pains to recognize as holy wrath our recent blasted hurricane. She washed away the filthy sins of a ranch in New Orleans, yet somehow missed the French Quarter with all its faggots, trunks, and queens. 
Solemnly we bow our head, thankful for our purity, and that we did not lose our homes like those yachts in Araby. The colors in the lower night were torn to pieces by the storm. Silently we give our thanks that God clearly loves us more. The consensus is to accept the storm as evidence of God's infinite grace and mercy. But I don't want to talk about sin, I want to talk about football and pussy. We're gonna hit someone today. We're gonna pound them till they scream. We're gonna pop our zits and squeeze some tits, at least in our wet dreams. We're gonna smash those bags to hell. Show them what abomination means. Now let's get out and fight. Show them we're right. Let's fuck the other team. We're gonna stuff them at the line After we penetrate them deep We're gonna make them crawl And ram that ball Right back down their teeth We're gonna pile on from behind They're gonna cry and beg and scream We'll hit them high, we'll hit them low We'll stick it where the sun don't go And fuck the other team if the choice is a fuck or fight, I sure do hope I get one right. We're gonna smash those facts to hell. Show them what abomination means. Now let's get out and fight. Show them we're right. Let's fuck the other team. Let's fuck the other You know the drill. Put on the wigs and the skirts. Oh, okay, okay. sister. Sister. Ba -da 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 -da. We're gonna hit someone today. We're gonna pound them till they scream. John This is supposed to be a punishment. Yes, sister. In 1967, Dr. Frank Minyard was the most successful gynecologist in the city of New Orleans. He had money, he had a big house, he had fancy sports cars, he had a beautiful wife and several beautiful girlfriends. <laughs> he could drink the best bourbon on Bourbon Street. Sometimes he did. Mama bought me a second-hand horn. We had no money for lessons, of course. She taught me hymns of grief. I practiced hard as if trying to change my life by force. In the hot summer days of my youth, I begged to go swim in the Audubon pool. She'd say, poor whites like us don't mix well with those uptown swells and those Jews. I'll blow my own horn through my trials and tribulations. I'll blow my own horn till I've succeeded and I've failed. To my greatest glories and worst humiliation. I'll blow my own horn till I'm cold, stiff, dead and pale. I find that success is a breeze. When you're wonderful as me, got my PhD in gynecology. I got girls as far as the eye can see. On Bourbon Street, I'm Dr. Jazz. They dig the way 
I toss my cash. I live in a palace my wife picked out, but I really go there just to crash. I blow my own horn through my trials and tribulations. I blow my own horn when I've succeeded and I've failed. Through my greatest glories and worst humiliation. I blow my own horn till I'm cold, stiff, dead, and pale. Eat your heart out, Freddy de Cordova. From time to time, a darkness gets the best of me. And I find myself berating my sweet Emily. Once just because she caved her hair, I screamed at her from up the stairs. Our dinner guests were horrified, and so were we. Hang on, fellas, that ain't quite right now. You can do it better than that. That's close, but you can hit me harder. That's nice, but I've had a few drinks, so uh, get me down deeper, would you? Yeah. On my patio tonight, soaking in the moonlight, one, two, I slug my drink, I stare at the stars, but something in me don't feel right. Oh God, my vision is going black. My breath is growing slack. My yacht is sinking in a sea of useless, pointless crap. I'll blow my own horn, though I've had a few libations. <laughs> I'll blow my own horn, cause it's always worked before. This is not the end, no, my train ain't left the station. I'll blow my own horn till they drag me out the door. I'll blow my own horn till I'm face down on the floor. I'll blow my own horn till there ain't no me no more. Yeah. Thank y'all. Give a hand for the band. Whenever Al Hurt's not in town, that's who I play with. A young high school student named Billy Grace had just graduated in the late 60s, and his father thought it would be an excellent opportunity for him to get a character-building job cleaning dumpsters in the Ninth Ward. I broke in a new guy last night, a little bitty light-skinned fella. Man, he was jumping up and down in the higher end. Acting the fool, playing it cool, waving and climbing the wall. A man's got to learn. A man's got to learn. A man's got to be taught. A man's got to be taught. Hey, catch me a beer. You already been caught. You got to grab it by the seat of the pants. It's like a dance, little fella. It's like a dance. 
He's out on the dock grabbing sacks, humping them all by himself. I say, ooh, stop, son, you're doing it all wrong. I say, bu bu ow, easy like, you got to keep it up all night long. A man's got to learn. A man's got to learn. A man's got to be taught. A man's got to be taught. Hey, catch me a beer. You already been caught. You got to grab it by the seat of the pants. It's like a dance, little fella. It's like a dance. Hey there, son, come have you one. You've been stuck in that dumpster all day. Sit right here, come on and crack this beer. Tell us how much you get paid. Well, about $80 a week. 80 a week? Yeah. What you gonna do with 80 a week? Well, I'm saving enough to buy a car. <laughs> what kind of car are you gonna buy with $80? A Volkswagen Beetle, brand new. A damn Beetle? Yeah. That ain't no car. A Cadillac Fleetwood Broham, now that's a car. You save your money getting married. Yep, I'm getting married. You keep a little something on the side. Well, why would I want to do that? Cause one dish will ask you, well, what's your favorite thing to eat? Well, steak, potato, peas, I guess. Who'd want to eat that meal every day, 21 times a week? Oh. <laughs> a man's got to learn. A man's got to learn. A man's got to be taught. A man's got to be taught. Hey, catch me a beer. You already been caught. You got to grab it by the seat of the pants. It's like a dance, little fella. It's like a dance. You got to grab it by the seat of the pants. It's like a dance, little fella. It's like a dance. You got to grab it by the seat of the pants. It's like a dance, little fella. It's like a dance. Dr. Minyard soon realized that it just wasn't enough to have money and have fun. He wanted to do more. And he met Father Terrio, who was handing out methadone to the heroin addicts at St. Augs Church, and he decided to join him. It started him down a path that would change his life and ours. Got to do something about the jail. Got to do something about the jail. Got to do something about the jail. Yeah, we got to do something about the jail. We got to do something about the jail.
Mr. Hyde, please, five minutes of your time. I'll give you two. By the way, it's Sheriff Hyde to you. Well, Sheriff, I work at the St. Augs Mission, giving junkies methadone. But they go through your jail, get hooked again, and come back with their Jones. But maybe together we can solve this. At least acknowledge it exists. Perhaps the good Lord will absolve us. We're no saints, but this is something we can fix. I'm not in the mood. This prison's being sued. The health of inmates isn't even part of my purview. See the coroner instead. He controls the jailbirds and the dead. There's really nothing more that I can do. I sincerely hope the two of you can solve this. Maybe he'll acknowledge you exist. I hope the two of you resolve this. The Saints are playing and I just scored free tickets. Dr. Minyard, what brings you to see me today? Happy to accommodate a fellow stall bones. Just push those folders out of your way. I can see you're busy, sir. I'll get right down to it. There's lots of backsliding junkies that fail. Once a dope fiend, always a dope fiend. My therapy works and I can prove it. Let me bring methadone in your jail. Bring drugs into a jail. I've been doing this program for months. It works, doctor. My patients just need continuity of care. <laughs> no, sir. You're sure of that? Well, then, who's your boss? I don't have a boss. I'm elected. Well, in that case, one, two, three. I'm going to run against you and win, you son of a bitch. What are you talking about? Stick those words back down your throat until you choke and spit. Get out of my I'll office. take your job, I'll take your life, might even screw your wife tonight. Yeah. Gonna run against you and win, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you just try. I'll sit behind that desk of yours and solve this. Uh, yeah, right. At least I know the problems that exist. You think you're the first one who... Next election, the voters can resolve it. We'll see about that. Gonna run against you and win, you son of a bitch. Get out of here. Gonna run against you and win, you son of a bitch. I gotta pull this thing out. Gonna and run against you and win, you son of a bitch. Good luck with that. Billy Grace is now a Tulane University student, and he has fallen in love. Yes, give Tulane a hand. You're here. And he has fallen in love, and he is making the time-honored trip to meet his uh, girlfriend's family. And little does Billy know that his girlfriend is a member of New Orleans royalty, former kings and queens of Rex. Ah, uh, the Rex mansion. <laughs> Been curious by for right, a Queen Anne masterpiece. One of the finest houses on St. Charles. The regal banners hanging in the balcony honor former kings and queens of carnival. How very like sweet Anne, not to clue me in, simply said, come to dinner at my auntie. All right now, this is Robert Henry Downman, Anne's great-grandfather, one of the finest men who ever walked the earth. Founded the Louisiana Lottery. A former president of the Levy Board. For what that's worth. How very like scenes, sweet Anne. These not to clue me in. Simply said, come to friend, dinner at my auntie's. How very like will, sweet Anne. Not to tip him, her hand. To I protect me from, from my life. This is my father. He was lawyer to Sam Zamuri, who parlayed a banana stand in Mobile into owning United Fruit. Got himself thrown into Honduran prison, where he never lost his dignity. 
though he languished in abject misery till Senator Joe Ramsdale, my great uncle, and I'm proud to say perhaps Huey Long's greatest enemy set a fleet of Navy gunboats to blockade the port of Tugiltsagaba until they freed my father and... Are you following me, son? Very lying, sweet hand, these not a clue in him. Him. Simply says, come to dinner and at my rooms. How very lying, it will. sweet hand, Young not to tip her hand, hand. to I protect me from my ambition. This is amazing, this is amazing, but how about my sweet hand? That figure, those eyes that gravely laugh. She doesn't give a fig for the pomposity. Whether I drive a bug or a Bentley, how very like sweet hand, I'm putty in her hands. I'll do anything that she has planned for me. How very I'm like sweet hand, He's not to clue me queen. in. Simply Who said, come to dinner Rand at my auntie's. How very like will. sweet hand, not, not to tip her hand, I to protect me from my own I ambition. Glory. How very I like see. sweet hand, I'm He's putty in her queen. hands. Who I'll do anything that Rand she has planned for me. How very to like will. sweet hand, not to clue me in, simply I'm said, come to dinner I'm at my auntie's. How very I'm like sweet and not to tip her hand, to protect me with from my own ambition. How very like sweet hand, to take me by the hand and lead me to a place that all my life I've changed. Here we meet Belinda Carr at the age of eight, standing on her front lawn and dreaming of finding some place better, some place out of the Ninth Ward, out of New Orleans.
wish the world was different from where I live right now. I hope I turn out good enough to find that world somehow. But right now, Grandma's yelling that the baby's off the lawn. Wilbert Rollins Jr. also grew up in the Ninth Ward, and the figure in his life that most affected him was a towering figure of his own father, Da. Da was a longshoreman by day, worked hard to take care of his family, and then by night he rushed home and changed into his tuxedo to play drums for the legendary soul queen of New Orleans, Miss Irma Thomas. When he had a few moments, he tried to teach his son what it meant to be a man. Hey, Hello, Doc. boys. Hey, Doc. Done your chores? Yep. Your homework? Yep. <laughs> you call that doing dishes, I call it World War Three. Since you really done your homework, better bring it here to me. Since you busted mama's lamp, better fix it till it works. And whoever ate them cookies has already had dessert. If you don't understand, I'll break it down for you. But if you tell me yes, and then you bust the rules, that's disrespect. Mm -hmm. That's disrespect. Boy, sit your ass down. Well, I know you just a boy, but you're gonna be a man. Watch exactly what I do, be precisely who I am. You are Wilbert Rollins Jr., that name's my legacy. I did not give you my name for you to throw it in the street. One thing I won't stand for is that you embarrass me. If you don't understand, I'll break it down for you. But if you tell me yes, and then you bust the rules, that's disrespect. Ooh, that's disrespect. Now, you boys behave yourselves. I got a gig with Miss Irma, and I cannot keep her waiting. What's a woman dreaming about? So mysterious, just a clean, honest man who's good with his hands. She wants someone she can trust. I want to know safe with my guy. And when he looks at me, he knows in his whole world there ain't no. Son, you gotta work on through the pain. How you gonna make the play if you ain't on the diamond? Sometimes this world will knock you down. You gotta keep on trying. So if you don't understand, I'll break it down for you. And if you tell me yes, and then you follow through, son. That's respect. Mm -hmm. That's respect. Of all the wonderful cultures in New Orleans, 
the most mysterious is perhaps the Mardi Gras Indian culture. And it's Mardi Gras morning. Big Chief Tutti Montana has been invited by Mayor Mark Morial to come down to, uh, Mayor Dutch Morial, my mistake, this is way back in the 80s, <laughs> to come down and then toast the King of Rex at Gallier Hall on Mardi Gras Day. It's an historic meeting of black Mardi Gras meets white Mardi Gras. Joyce wants him to go, but Tootie's suited and finished, and he ain't gonna leave the house if his suit ain't pretty, y'all. Mayor Morial, it's a pleasure to have you in our home. Tootie, you have a visitor. If everything I heard about Chief Tootie is true, he's not gonna leave his house until his suit is finished. So if Muhammad won't come to the mountain, I'm gonna bring the mountain to him. Mama won't go to the mountain, bring the mountain to him. Big Chief got to Mama stop. won't go to the mountain, bring the mountain to him. My Chief got to Mama stop. won't go to the mountain, bring the mountain to him. My Chief ain't Mama won't go to the mountain, bring the mountain to him. My Chief got to Mama stop. won't go to the mountain, bring the mountain to him. My Chief got to Mama stop. won't go to the mountain. Bring the mountain to him. My chief got the soul. Go to the mountain. Bring the mountain to him. My chief ain't home. I won't go to the mountain. Bring the mountain to him. My chief got the soul. My chief got the soul. My chief got the soul. 
go. My chief can't go. My chief got to stop. My won't go. My chief got to stop. My chief can't go. My won't go. My chief got to stop. So so so, bring it to him. Bring it to him. My chief got to stop. Bring it to him. Bring it to him. My chief can't go. Bring it to him. My chief got to stop. Bring it to him. Bring it to him. Dr. Minyard did run against that son of a bitch corner and win. And when he got in office, he found that he could actually still enjoy his lifestyle of uh, hanging out with his jazz friends and cocktailing and the occasional girlfriend, as long as he had his trusty assistant back at the office handling phone calls and problems, Gloria Boutte. I'm glad I bought this cottage at the beach, a place where I am almost Completely out of reach. As coroner, I'm always dealing with the dead. But here I get to deal with my life and chase a little tail instead. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Doc. Listen, the new undertaker you hired, well, he's talking to ghosts. Ghosts? Are you kidding me? Crazy as a bestie bug. Well, do they talk back? I guess so. They do. My undertaker's talking to ghosts. My favorite cop got busted with blow. They found him in bed with a gram and a dame. The reporters are asking for answers again while we uptown. A two-lane grab burned a grocery down. He's crying and drunk at his family's home. It's Gloria on the phone. Gloria on the phone. Oh, an NBC call. There's more? Yeah, P. Fontaine said the Johnny Carson show said no to you playing on the show. Oh, well, no. Oh, and Judge Duplanchette was arrested for dancing naked again, this time on top of the Superdome. Johnny Carson turned me down. Even Pete Fountain couldn't bring him around. A comical corner with a trumpet to blow. But Pete said that Johnny said that Freddie said no. And judge you know who dances naked except a flirtily tattoo is crying and stoned on the roof of the dome it's gloria on the phone gloria on the phone so you've taken care of all that right well, yeah but good girl I'm coroner, Dr. Jazz, Mr. Fix-It. If you got a problem, call my office. My position carries a burden. God knows I feel its weight. Thank goodness I have Gloria and know how to delegate. Mr. Dupree called. He said that he has been waiting for an appointment for over a he year. He's been waiting for a year. He can wait another weekend. Because I've worked enough for today. Tomorrow, there'll be more dragons to slay. Plus, I feel a powerful thirst coming on. Gloria, get off the phone. All right, if you're sure. Gloria, get off the phone. I got things to do myself. Gloria, get off the phone. Okay, then. Come here, sugar. I finally got Gloria off the phone. One thing Wilbert Rollins Jr. knew by the time he was in high school that he was going to make his life in music. 
Da had shown him the path, and he was going to follow it for the rest of his life. But he was in high school, and Wilbur thought he knew everything. Keep your eye on that snake, or he'll bite you. Keep your eye on that snake, or he'll bite you. Keep your eye on that snake, or he'll bite you. Keep your eye on that snake, or he'll bite you. You got to look at the score as a snake. Every piece of music we play is different. You might have handled a cobra before, but this anaconda will get you twitching. Keep your eye on that snake, or he'll bite you. Just a keep your eye on that snake, or he'll bite you. Why, why, why? Uh, let me hear those mellophones and see baritones. Give it to me in G. Keep your eye on Mr. that Jones. snake, or he'll bite you. Hey, Mr. Jones. Keep your eye Mr. on Jones. that snake, or he'll bite you. Keep Mr. Your Jones, eye can you hear on me? That snake, you got the out of sacrificing you. intensity. Why don't you give the C to the baritones? Snake. And oh, give the G right. to the mellophones, Mr. Jones, yeah. Give it to the baritones, Mr. Jones. Move it. Do you have a degree? This is my damn band, and I will do as I please. At least my da always explained no, things no, no, to no, me. No, 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 I'm the band instructor here, and you will listen to me. Keep your eye on that snake, boy. He'll bite you. Just to keep your eye on that snake, boy, he'll bite you. Why, da, da, oh, why? You know I'm going to get that degree. Then I'm going to blow you out. Just wait and see. You know, Wilbert, you're right. Switching the keys would sound more powerful, but I don't want all that might. The music has to start softly and grow like this. Yeah, that's how the music lifts your soul, children. That's how it is, how it is, how it is. That's, that's how, how it lifts your soul. That's how it is, how it is, how it is. That's how That's how it is, how it is, how it is. That's all. That's how it is, how it is. That's how it is. That's all. safe with me, everything's gonna be all right. Life can be a mystery, love can be a curse. When things look bad, remember, honey, could have been worse. Grass 
while the saxophones play let them wash over you like a hot summer sunday and if your puzzle's missing, missing pieces and there's nothing in your purse when things look bad when remember <laughs> could have been worse could have been worse i'll take you away If you stay there, you'll find your sashay. Join in with your heart. Feel the sweet apart. See, there's no time to cry. No time you're to learning cry. to fly. No Let's get cry. going. Remember our high school boy who just didn't quite fit in with the other boys in the choir and on the football team? Well, he finally found a place where he fits. It's in his wife's clothes when she goes to work. All right, Johnny, give me a kiss. I gotta go to work. Do you think I gained too much weight since the baby? Oh, you're just the right size. I mean, you're the right size for me, baby. I mean. You're just the right size. Okay. Now the Kathy's gone. In my familiar personal heaven. Tainted, painted, dressed, and alone, the intoxicating cylinder of 
plastic vibrations dissolving the tensions the tap has these hot holes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Just so radiates through me just a little farther, and I start to moan. The spasms in my chasms delight and confuse me. The boiling sensation can melt iron stone. Oh, all of that loneliness and shame. I can feel it building in my sinews every day. I press a little farther, and it all goes away. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, my God. Kathy gets home in 45 minutes. I can feel that in me deep inside my Desperate grunting and folk can do nothing. You gotta see me a doctor. I swallowed more than my pride. What's the problem? Uh, I need to see a doctor stat. What's the problem? I have a vibrator stuck inside of me. Have a seat. I think I'll stand. your test, baby, I'm fine. Don't be sad. Good morning. I have your things. Uh, yes, yeah, just stay in bed. Uh, I'll put them here on the chair. Uh, Kathy, uh, don't, don't bother with my things right now. Uh, where are the kids? Are they with your mom and them? Baby, I, I can Jack. explain. I, I, I was going to tell you about it. I don't believe it, John. I'm so ashamed. I don't believe it. I can send you, John. Oh, You're disgusting. Shit. How the Kathy's gone. You're fine. We're filling out your paperwork, and then you're How the Kathy's gone. Bye-bye now. Y'all hear what that man now was in here for? Gone. Girl, did you hear what was in that man? Wilbert Rollins Jr. knew that he wanted his life to be in music, but it was a constant struggle to fight off the drug dealers in his neighborhood in Low and Lying who always had a scheme. Luckily for him, he had the watchful eye of Da looking out for him. Psst, 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 psst. Hey, Will! Hey, son. Say, Will! Hey, Look like your friend calling you. Oh, oh. Will! Oh, that's chicken. Come holla at your boy. I'm gonna go down there. Come holla at your boy. I'm gonna go down, okay? All right, that's okay. Please I'll be back. Just make, sure, to just make sure you come back inside. We got some stuff to do now. Okay, Doc. What up, Will? What up, chicken? Come holla at me. I can't write now, nah, man. I'm chilling with my peeps. But I got a plan for us to run these streets. You'll have money out the ass if you come and help me. I came up on the work, man, at 1.5. If you's a man about your business, help me move these pies. If it ain't cooked in the chicken, chicken, I ain't with it. Cause if my dog catch me out here pitching, I'ma get it. Man, stop all of your bitching. You scared of your pops? 
All you gotta do is help your boy move the rocks. Me and you together, we could take over the block. We could ball out of control, so show me what you got. Man, I'm into my music. I ain't trying to bubble. If Doc caught me out here slinging, I'll be in serious trouble. Well, what y'all talking about? Old nothing, Doc. Chicken, shut the fuck up. You trying to get me pop? You should come inside. Will Old man, get... keep walking. He'll come inside when we finish. Right now, we'll talking. Excuse me, son. Look, man, I ain't your son. And I said we'll talking. He'll come in when we done. Say, man, don't disrespect my dad. Are you crazy? Man, fuck you and your dad. Boy, you acting like a baby. I'm going to get this money, man, and stack it to the sky. And you going to help me do it by moving these pies. You gonna help me move these pies. Yeah. You gonna help me move these pies, boy. For real. You gonna move these pies today. You gonna become a man today. Yeah. Yeah. Look, chicken, you gonna stop disrespecting my doc. Cause if you keep it up, homie, I'ma make you stop. Well, son, I don't condone fighting. Okay. You still be a man if you wanted to walk away. Okay, chicken, just go ahead and leave. Cause if you don't, I'm gonna have some problems with me. Well, guess what? Here's what I do. Since you acting like a bitch, how about I disrespect you? How about I push you and punch you in your face and kick you while you're down? That should put you in your place. You a coward, just like that man you called dad. Now you gonna move these pies up. Huh? I'ma kick your ass. Man, I don't want the life, man. It's not for me. And I don't want the heat, cause I ain't built for these streets. And I don't want my daughter look down on me. And I'm trying to deal with M-U-S-I-C. Well, yeah, I done seen and heard enough. Huh? This old boy here, he really think he's tough. Huh? He thinks he's a man and he thinks he's bad. And I don't condone fighting, but you need to kick his ass. Ah! Ah, get him off me! Get him off me! Man, you ain't gonna disrespect Please. my dad. Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, my ass. I'm that, sorry. That's enough, Will. I'm sorry. That's enough, sorry. son. That's enough, son. I told you I ain't gonna move these pies. <laughs> Belinda Carr's dreams of graduating high school and going on to college ended in one bad choice on her prom night, and her life changed forever. Why can't I see tomorrow instead of this dead end? Restlessness, I stop trying to pretend. Try to keep my distance by sticking to my plan to hit the books and avoid the looks of boys becoming men. My first taste of alcohol and a blanket by the lake stole my bright forevers threw them on the way I once believed in dreaming and hearts so full When Kathy walked out of that hospital room on John, she never came back. He lost his wife, he lost his family, he lost his business, and he'd wondered what he'd done to his life. But then he saw an ad in a magazine that called for an all-male sorority party. 
He was so scared he didn't even put his women's clothes on. He carried them in a Dornyak's bag. He wanted to knock on the door, but fear kept him from it. And sometimes if you don't knock on a door, it just might open for you. Okay. Breathe. You're among friends. Nod if you can hear me. Okay. What's your name? Uh, John. John's a name for men. You need a name that makes you feel like a lady. I'm the and Bob. He's just freaking you out. Did you bring your clothes? You can change right in there, baby. You'll see how a little makeup and some pantyhose can really make a man feel like a lady. Quiet up there. Thank you so much. I want you all to meet John. Now, he's a little nervous. Be nice to him. This is his first time. Hey, ho. I'm the real thing. That's my husband over there. You see, the one in the blonde wig and the yellow by the way, no, I don't care. Ooh, girl, you love it. All right, ladies, back off now. Let's let our new friend begin. Gonna give him a moment to dress himself. Then you can all start in. Do a shot of tequila. Remember to lace up your pumps real tight. Honey, you'll be a knockout. Listen to us and you'll be all right. If you want to be pretty, a touch of rouge will suffice. Dial back the eyeliner, throw on some tits. Take a drag queen's advice. Take a drag queen's advice. Da -da -da -da. My life's a mess. Da -da -da -da. I like to dress. Da -da -da -da. Am I a freak? I've lost my job, my wife, my friends. Da -da -da -da. This'll never work. Da -da -da -da. I'm built like a Turk. This slinky ladies can get shady. Why not burly men? Da -da -da -da. Oh, what the hell? Da -da -da -da. I may as well. Da -da -da -da. Who knows? I might not ever get this chance again. Da 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 da. Just looking off. Da 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 da. Empire lost. Take a drag queen's advice. Take a drag queen's advice. Take a drag queen's advice. I feel weightless, light as a feather. Terror is gone, and I'm not afraid. Lungs are filled with air for the first time in my life. Now I really feel like a lady. Now he really feels like a lady. Now I really feel like a now lady. Now he really feels like a lady. You have yet to meet Ronald Lewis. Ronald Lewis grew up in the Ninth Ward and has spent his whole life protecting the culture, celebrating the culture of New Orleans in the Ninth Ward. And to do so, he formed the Big Nine Social Aid and Pleasure Club. Now, the social aid part comes in the more poor neighborhoods where you have to collect when somebody passes on or needs medical attention. They 
they help each other. Now the pleasure, well that's in the parading, baby. And Ronald put it this way, it's important for that social aid and pleasure club to march because whoever's marching that day with the big nine, whether they're a banker, whether they're a garbage man, whether they're a doctor, whether they're a chef for that day, that man is a king. Let's get this parade going. Let's get this parade going. Let's get this parade going. We're going to have a good time. Band, tune up. We're going to have a good time. Oh, everybody right here, y'all. Oh, boy. Ah! Today, nothing else matters. No. Uh -uh. I've been waiting on this all year. This all year. Yeah. This all year. It's the night world's biggest party. Oh, hey. Believe yeah. that. Believe that. Well, guess what? Now it's here. I got that brass band coming. Come in. The second line is jumping. Jump in. Everybody's having fun. It's how we do it. How we do it. If you spend time in New Orleans, right. you know exactly what I mean. Uh huh. I'm dancing in these streets. I'm clean. I'm they clean. watching me. Me. And they say, Woo. that man is a king for a day. And they say, that man is a king for a day. That man is a king for a day. And they say, that man is a king for a day. My legs are aching so bad. Ooh, yeah. But my feet can't fail me now. They can't fail me now. Fail me now. I'ma do just what I wanna. Yeah. Do what I wanna. I'm a buck jump for this crowd. I got that brass band coming. Ah, ah. Second line is jumping. Jump. Ah. Everybody's having fun. It's how we do it. How we do it. We spend time in New Orleans. Right. You know exactly what I mean. Uh huh. I'm dancing in these streets. These streets. I'm clean. I'm they clean. watch me. Ah. Me. And they say, Woo. that man is a king for a day. And they say, that man is a king for a day. That man is a king for a day. And they say, that man is a king for a That man is a king for a day. And they say, that man is a king for a day. Everybody, let me hear you. That man is a king for a day. And they say, that man is a king for a day. 